Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm just checking in because I want to make sure I give a three month update on how things have been going with me taking the Zoloft and also um, give some of my my tips that have I've been like effectively using for coping skills. Um, and <laughs> I just want to say like the medication that I that I'm taking the Zoloft same prescription has been working and I know that it's working because um, I went through like some really traumatic things with my child's father. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know all the drama. I'm not going to get into it on this video because it doesn't deserve any more of my energy. But um, if you know, you know. And um, it, didn't str it didn't stress me out the way that it could have. Like if I was still in the um, depressive state of mind, the, the mode that I was in before I started taking the medication. So I will say that um, th that is a true testament. Um, my mental health now is a true testament of the medication being very effective for me. So, um, so yeah, like I said, in this video, I'm just gonna give some um, coping skills, that I have been using in order to, um, you know, help with my, the struggle that I had with depression. So with postpartum depression. So uh, along with the yoga, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I've been taking yoga and Pilates classes. That's definitely been helping to help calm the mind along with the medication. So if you have any type of like anxiety or things like that, if you can relate, um, or if you watched my last video and understood like we were here when I was talking about my experiences with anxiety, then um, I will, I can say um, affirmatively that the medication has helped with that. And also that in conjunction with the coping skills that I'll get into and the yoga and the Pilates definitely has helped me to um, be more present and come out of my mind and not really um, be overly concerned about my beliefs on how things should be or how I'm viewing myself. Because I will say that um, I did recognize that a lot of my depression and anxiety was stemming from me being very, like a lot of self-loathing. So I was really upset with myself about some choices that I made. And I'm really big on taking responsibility for things that you do. So um, I was just like in a state where I was like really upset with myself for some choices, some some choices that like life altering choices that I had or ch a choice that I made. And um, it was really just, um, I was just not letting up on myself. And um, I kind of basically put myself in time out. Um, and that, I was able to come to that realization partly because of the medication and also in conjunction with the yoga. It helped me to calm my mind and just really, you know, I don't my my thoughts weren't racing so I could really see what is it what is the main problem what's causing me to be um depressed like this. So uh yeah, it was just a lot of just me really being upset with um having another child having another child with another type of guy that I already had a child with, um, like my first situation. So I have two children. The first one I had very young. The second one, my children are 17, six, 17 years apart in age. So I, I had a child with the same type of guy and it just really stressed me and depressed me. Like <laughs> no shade to the kids' fathers, but I could have definitely done way better. So, and I'll just leave that at that. That's that on that. So anyway, y'all, let's get out of my business and let's talk about um, the coping skills. So one coping skill, um, I would just start with like the suicidal thoughts. So for me, it's not that I wanted to commit suicide. Like I had suicidal thoughts, but, and this, this is a very intimate moment here. So but I, I'll get into it. Um, I don't have any shame. Um, my suicidal thoughts were that I just, it wasn't that I wanted to no longer be here. I just no longer liked the version of myself 
that I was presenting and I wanted to change the narrative. Except I was stuck in a depressive state and it was to the point where I couldn't make those changes. I couldn't get up and decide that I wanted to be, you know, be somewhere else, move somewhere else, be someone else. Um, and then also just having a whole nother child. It's like, how do you, you can't really change that narrative. It just is what it is. You know, I just have to move forward. So it was a lot of conflicting views there. You know, I've already raised a whole child now by myself, mind you. Um, well, I was in a long term relationship with someone and and I was had help there. But what I will say is I raised a whole child without the help of her biological father. Most of the time I raised her by myself. Now I'm in a position where uh, I'm raising another whole child by myself. So it, it just really depressed me that I would actually make that decision. You know, I did that. And um, so anyway, and that's that on that. So um, that that's my coping skills for if you're having suicidal thoughts, I would say a coping skill to help combat that is that you don't actually not want to be here. You just don't want to, you just don't like the version of yourself in that state. And mind you, I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a therapist. Um, this is just some things that I, coping skills that I use for myself um, that may be helpful to you. Let's just put that out there. So yeah, definitely. Um, I, I, I never wanted to not be here anymore. I love, I love being here. I love it here. <laughs> um, but I just didn't like that version of myself and I didn't like the narrative. So we'll start, that's one coping skill. Um, another would be, um, let's see. Um, do what you need to do in order to get you to where you want to be, okay? So for me, I what I needed to do in order to get me to where I wanted to be, I needed to actually send the kids away. I don't care what it looked like. I, I don't care what whatever you have to do. I don't care what it looks like to other people. You're going to have to do as long as it's not something dangerous. But, you know... But you're going to have to do what you need to do in order to get where you need to be. So, and it doesn't matter like what it looks like to other people. Because I know other people probably were judging me like, oh, she sent her, you know, I sent the kids with their dad. It, it was a big, it was a big thing. I sent the children with their dads because at that point I needed to not be responsible for children. I needed to not be responsible for getting up, making breakfast, making dinner, getting the kids dressed, making sure they, you know, they're, they're okay. I needed for someone else to take responsibility for once because I was at a, a low point. I was at a breaking point. So what I will say is do it, do whatever you need to do in order to get where you need to be mentally and don't let the judgments or um, concerns or, or of other people stop you because I for a, I suffered with that depression for a long time before I just snapped and I needed help. Okay, so um, that that would be one coping skill, um, <clears throat> and then um, also I would say like I think I've already said that, but definitely come to terms with what is causing so if you're watching this and it's been three months i think it's been yeah it's been over three months for me now since i've been on the medication but this is gonna the official three month update if you've been on it for three months i think by then your mind should be still enough for you to come to terms with what is actually causing the depression for you okay I want to say that you you should your mind should be still enough for you to recognize what is what is actually causing the, the depression and come up with an action plan on getting to a better state of mind, getting better mental health. OK, uh, so another one um, I would say is let go of beliefs that no longer serve you. That's what I had to let go um, because I, I did have some beliefs about how things should be, how things should go, what I'd never do again. And I found myself in that same predicament. Um, things that I really, I don't really judge other people so much. Um, 
but I am hard on myself and I was really hard on myself and I had to let go of that belief that I would never I would never this would never be me again and this never that and never this so I had to um, let go of that belief and um, create some new beliefs that fit the new narrative that I want I'm not saying that my new belief is oh it's okay to have deadbeat baby daddies <laughs> um, but I just had to uh I just had to create a belief that made it made my mental health better for me. Okay? If if you can understand that, okay? So, um yeah, that would be um that would be um a coping skill. And then lastly, I would say is if you watch my 2021 motivational vlog where I said that you need to have a relationship with God um, your own personal relationship with God that also helped too because y'all I was talking to God I was like why out of all the people that I could have had a child with you know I've suffered many miscarriages when I was in that long term relationship we never had a child together and then I get with somebody that is not the, the best and automatically pregnant okay so i was i was having it out like it was a mental struggle i'm having it out with god right now we we talking you know like god why you know, so uh yeah it was a it was the um i i had we had some personal time god and i <laughs> me and my god okay so definitely and i just had to keep faith and just remember all the times where things seemed like they weren't working in my favor but they actually turned out to be working in my favor i had to remember those times uh, i had to just understand that it, it's all god's plan it's all gonna work out everything is gonna be okay i just need to have faith so um yeah it, i just really had to work on work on my being faithful and having faith in um, God's plan and having faith in my story. So yeah, um, those coping skills have gotten me to where I am now. Um, definitely in a better place, but we're, we're, we're definitely still working to be in an even better place. Uh, and I'm excited to do that. Um, and I've, you know what? I've also been taking like some some vitamins that have been helping me, some supplements. Um, if y'all want to know about the supplements, I will also, cause I, I want to say that they are have been a big help to me as well. So I don't want to just leave that out. Um, and that along with family and friends, y'all. I know it might be hard to get up and go out, but I'd say after about three months of being on the medication you're gonna get a be a little bit motivated to go out, do the things that you used to do, have fun. Um, so if you've been following me on Instagram, you definitely seen that your girl been out in the streets. She is in the streets. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm having fun. Like if you don't dance, y'all, you gotta dance sometimes. Dan dancing is so therapeutic, even if you don't know how to dance. Cause I know y'all don't, you know, I, <laughs> I know if you follow me on the Instagram, you like this girl don't know how to dance, but she always dancing. And because it's therapeutic for me, you know, it helps me forget about what's going on. It helps me focus, be in the present. Y'all, if you've ever, um, like problems with anxiety, there's a book that I read called the presence process. Um, and <clears throat> that it's a long read but it's definitely a good read so the presence process helps you be present and where you are where you're at helps you fill out the vibe of people so that way you can find your people be with your people where you can be comfortable people that allow you to be comfortably comfortably yourself okay um no judgment it's all love so yeah, dance a little bit. Get up in your house and dance a little bit. Even if even before you start going out, just get up and dance a little bit. Do whatever you gotta do in your house, whatever type of dance you gotta do in order to um, get that energy flowing and start feeling good. Um, and I hope this video finds you in good health uh, and you're gonna get there. Trust and believe. It, 
you're gonna get there uh, and i'm happy to see it i'm happy that you're here watching um uh, make sure y'all like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'm gonna see y'all on the next vlog y'all be easy